So today I'm going to show you how to make an Angry Bear custom t-shirt using our white heat transfer vinyl. Before I get started, I always like to make sure my blade is set to the right setting. The cutting machine I'm using is a Silhouette 2. It's old but it still gets the job done. My application of choice is Silhouette Studio. I know there's a lot of crit cut lovers out there, but nothing beats the flexibility of Silhouette Studio. When using our regular vinyl, I set the blade to 3 or 4, setting my force to 10 and my speed to a 7. Sometimes I like the patience to wait on my designs to cut, so I usually keep my cut speed set pretty high. But if you want a more cleaner cut, drop your speed down to around 4 or 5. This is usually the sweet spot. I don't know about you, but I have a love-hate relationship for weeding. Working with the wrong type of vinyl can make this process painful or painless. Here's my secret to lining up designs, especially on larger t-shirts. My line tool turns this process into a no-brainer. This is a must-have tool for anyone making t-shirts. Don't laugh, that's correct. You see it, it's parchment paper. After about four to five seconds of cooling, watch how easy it is to remove the cover sheet. No fighting, no pulling. Make sure you get that second press in just to make sure the vinyl is adheres to the garment. And here's the final product. You want to get that commercial look. High quality design with a soft touch and feel of a garment. The shirt is lightweight, soft to the touch, and has a high quality look and feel to it. The vinyl should look like it's embedded into the fabric and not look like it's sitting on top. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Leave a comment and drop a like below. To learn more about the vinyl or the tools I use in this video, look in the description below.